Hey everybody and welcome back to Droops Viz and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alphonse Elric Nendroid. Today we got Alphonse Elric, the younger brother of Edward Elric. If you guys didn't see that video of the Nendroid review, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check that out if you want to. Like I said, this is the youngest of the two Elric siblings, the two brothers the main protagonist of Full Metal Alchemist. And long story short, he is a suit of armor there because he sacrificed his body in order to try to bring his mother back from the dead. It didn't go quite so well. So Ed was able to affix a alchemy symbol there to the suit of armor to keep his soul bound with it. So that way they could search for a cure to get his body back as well as, you know, getting Ed's arm and leg back too. So. This looks pretty awesome. This is quite a large Nendroid too, which is really nice. It looks like we don't get too many accessories, but the ones that we do get look really cool. So let's go ahead and just get right into this box today. Oh, and we do have the Good Smile Shop pre-order bonus. So that's gonna be pretty awesome to take a look at. And we'll do that before we hit the poses up. And of course, when we first open up here, we have our instruction manual just to give us an idea of what we're getting in for and if we need any help later on to put things together. Of course, it's in English as well. So there we go. Pretty nice to have. And we'll just set that to the side in case we need to refer to it later. Let's get this blister pack out of here. It feels like something's kind of caught. Oh, it looks like the stand actually fell off of the pack or it's just tape. Nope, it was, it was me. No, actually it wasn't if you can see there the the tape kind of not holding it too good but that's okay looking at the insert here on the box not too much that's interesting that they have the 796 there on the background but we got a couple of cool alchemy symbols there on the box and nothing else to see here you know alphonse is actually a lot of people's favorite character because he's not just the younger brother but he's actually kind of you know the older younger brother because he tends to take care of edward a lot more that he tends to take care of himself you know he gets Ed out of all sorts of situations and he's not really the one that has actually he has more to lose than ed does realistically just because he's a suit of armor and he's also a cat lover as you can see here we got two cats which is cool and we'll check that out in a minute but i do want to just get right in and look at the nendroid here because man this thing looks awesome that's interesting because most of our nendroids come with you know little plastic sheets attached to certain parts of them to protect the paint and sculpt of the figure but this one is actually just in a whole wrap there so they just put it all in there which is nice to see i wonder if they're going to change some more things but as you guys can see here we got alphonse and this thing is amazing this is so cool this is like kind of you know i mean it is a suit of armor but it feels like a little suit of armor that's dope so let's just start looking at some articulation here before we get into the accessories because we don't have too many so looking at his head here he has actually really good range of mobility there for the head that's nice obviously you're going to run into some issues on the side here because his jaw does stick out a little bit and then we got the little tassel up here that is semi-posable you can move it up and down so that's nice to see and i did notice that some of these things you could actually pull off here or Oh no, they're actually on a joint, if you can see right inside there. So his spike shoulder pad is on a little joint. So if you do move him around, you got a little extra play there, which is nice to see. And then as far as the shoulder goes, you got pretty good, you know, I'm saying this is going to be like kind of as good as it's going to get for a suit of armor. I mean, he's going to be pretty stiff, but you got that nice little alchemy symbol right there. And there is, I do want to see the alchemy symbol on the inside of the armor as well. So we'll check that out in a minute. Just below the shoulder, you do get articulation at the upper arm as well as, well, here at the hand that moved first. Not too much, but let's see if the shoulder moves here or the elbow, I should say. And it doesn't actually look like the elbow is going to move. Oh, no, there we go. So just like any new figure or Figma, Nendroid, whatever you pick, SH Fig Arts, if it's brand new, it's going to be a little tight. So you do want to be careful. Don't try to force anything because you don't want to break anything, especially when you're paying X amount for your Nendroid figure or whatever figure you're getting. So that is nice. We get a full range of motion 
in the arm there. Coming down here, we got some hip movement so we can move him side to side, pose him like that if we want. And then as far as our legs go, we could actually put out his legs pretty far. So that's nice to see. I'm kind of impressed with that because I figured it wouldn't be that far being a suit of armor, but that is nice to see. And then as far as the rest of it goes, we got really good movement there in the knees. So you get nice big joints there. That's cool. And then at the feet, we do actually have articulation at the feet instead of just regular side to side, which we could still do, but they're actually on some little joints there. So we could fully pose them except for the toe bit, but just the whole foot. That's nice. But yeah, I just got to take a moment here and just appreciate that paint work flawless that is really cool really like that man they did such a great job here with this Alphonse it's amazing so before we get into the head sculpts I want to check out these cats because apparently the cats here can go inside the suit of armor because the chest plate is actually removable that that is cool so we got our chest piece off there and then we could you know stick a little cat in there if we want well we probably want the sitting down one not the moving one but looking at the cat here pretty simple little cat just kind of a little blob of plastic there which is still nice because it totally fits the motive that we got our little cat inside him which is nice and he's kind of falling back there in the back because he's tilted but if he was on the shelf you could have that cat you know right up there at the lip and then, of course, you're going to have to match it with the kind of chibi face there. that has that nice little expression. That's really cool. And it's funny because this has a little piece in the back. That's in that is just to get the tassel on there. And if you don't have it on, you could just leave that in there. So, yeah, that's nice to see. I don't think it's really necessary, but that's still nice. And then as far as our other faceplate, we got the kind of, you know, oh, oh, moment there. So... That is a nice base plate as well. That would go really good with one of the base plates from Edward Elric. If you guys haven't seen that video, there's a link in the description below if you want to check out that Nendroid review. And looking at the other cat, it's just kind of a moving pose cat. And the head actually moves too, so that's a nice little touch, even though it's a pretty plain cat. There are two hands here. So this is really interesting because on all my other Nendroids, I haven't seen these little pegs that block the hole when they're not in use. So I wonder if that's something they're going to be doing more of or if they just did it because this is such a larger version of an android. You got these little karate chop hands that, you know, that's kind of his fight and pose there, Alphonse, which is really cool. So definitely a nice little touch there, but not so much for other accessories. We do have the pre-order bonus. But of course, as with all our Nendroids that we get, we do get our stand and base and this base is quite a bit bigger than the normal ones we get so that's nice to see and it's weird because this little stand piece is actually right around the same size as our normal ones but yeah we'll see how he looks when he's all done and put together and i'm actually quite curious too if this would actually stand on its own because it's such a bigger version of a an nendroid and He's not too disproportionate here at the bottom half, so he might be able to do it, and his head's not so big. So we'll try that out, and I'll definitely let you know after we do the poses, but let's go ahead and see what our pre-order bonus is here. I'm pretty jazzed about that because that's one of the good things about pre-ordering off a of good smile, is you do get some sweet pre-order bonuses. You know, not all of them are great, but you do get some cool ones sometimes, just like that one from Edward Elric I thought was cool. So this one we got here is all bubble wrapped up and it's got some tape too. Let's see. And it looks like this actually might be for Edward Elric. So yeah, it actually is, which is quite interesting that it's the pre-order bonus item for Alphonse, but it's actually for Ed because it's his briefcase. So yeah, this is Ed's little briefcase. So that is pretty cool. It would have been nice to get it with Ed, but we did get a really cool pre-order bonus for Ed already, but now we got a second one. So I'm wondering why they included this one for the pre-order bonus for Alphonse and not something Alphonse specific. I guess because Alphonse doesn't really have his own things being a suit of armor there. So this will do, that's pretty neat though. So I'll probably use that. But there was one thing I did want to check out and that 
was the alchemy symbol on the back. So let's go ahead and remove this stuff here. Uh, I don't know how to get inside the body. Wow, this is getting complicated. Let's see here. That's been removed. Okay. Not quite there yet. Wow, this is going to be kind of tough. Quite... Oh, here goes the collar piece coming up. Let me get that up. I find that, you know, sometimes if you just kind of pull a little bit at something to see if it's going to move or not it is probably one of the best things you know as far as removing things go so you're not breaking anything just kind of give it a real little bit of a tug and then eventually it will give if it's meant to actually move so I think I'm missing something because well this this whole thing should come up here under that let's refer to our instruction manual here because I'm not sure if I'm going about this the right way I did notice on the box there is a picture right there oh you know what my bad guys I was trying to look too far into it for some reason I didn't even realize that it was right here the whole time okay totally my fault but there we go because I don't know for some reason I was just thinking it was a little bit further in but it's not it's right there man that is cool so we got our alchemy symbol that Ed put on the suit of armor there to keep Alphonse bound to it. That's an awesome little touch. Really like that. I'm glad that that's there because if it wasn't, you know, what's the point? So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get all this back together and then I will do a few poses. So I will see you in a bit. Careful who you cross, careful who you test. Give me your worst and you'll get my best. Cause I don't know how to back down, how to back down, no I don't. So there you have it folks, that was the Alphonse Elric Nendroid, arguably one of the best characters in Full Metal Alchemist. Man, I can't say enough good things about this, this is awesome. And it's funny because I do have him on the base and stand here, but you don't really need to use it because he actually stands up on his own. But just to kind of keep in the you know theme of all my Nendroids that do have all the bases and stands on, I'm just going to leave them on there. But yeah, definitely don't need it. He'll stand up on his own and I tried to you know hit him over and stuff. Pretty solid. Pretty solid Nendroid. And I tell you, this guy is pretty heavy. He's such a large size for an Android. I really like it. And just to kind of give you a quick comparison there between the Alphonse and Edward, see the size difference? That is... A pretty sizable difference as far as Nendroids go so definitely cool and yeah I mean if you guys haven't seen this video just check it out but with that being said man the paint on this is amazing I really like how all this metallic came out it's fantastic especially when you see it in person and kind of have a little bit of light on there it looks really really cool and Alphonse for me is definitely up there on my favorite characters from Full Metal Alchemist just because he's the one that really keeps Edward Elric on the ground because you know Edward's the one that's kind of going through everything because he feels responsible for what happened to both of them. And realistically, Alphonse lost the most out of, you know, the two of them when they tried to resurrect their mother. But, you know, he tries to keep an upbeat attitude most of the time. And yeah, he's just a fantastic support character. I really enjoy it. Even though he's a main character, he's still a support character to me. So, yeah, this guy is awesome. And then there are those rare times when he does lose it he loses his composure and yeah those are pretty tough moments to watch so yeah guys let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this alphonse elric android so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video since the day I was born a fighter, I rise up, I rise up like smoke from a gun, like a brand new sun. Since the day I was born a fighter, I rise up, I rise up like smoke from a gun.